Welcome into Dom Time. Wednesday night is a night where we bring in a roundup, our local pundits, different people each week to kind of give us their view of what's going on around the world. And a couple tonight, Andy Hatchadorian has been with us before. He is the editor of the Daily Local News in Westchester. And joining us first time around is Nick Vidala. Nick is the assistant web editor of Philadelphia Magazine. Part of his portfolio are millennial issues. Uh, Nick, do you see any time soon college students not being so dopey to be sold a bill of goods, become an art history major or some other concoction, come out of college owing sixty to $150,000. One would hope. Uh, yeah. It seems like there's there's been an enormous kind of uh, emphasis placed on going to college, and that's good to get a further education. But, I mean, it seems to me that it's, kind of be, it's been done at kind of like the detriment of trades and, and things like that. Right. So maybe if, uh, a pushback towards uh, trades or, or even trade style education, like even for journalism, going and, and apprenticing instead of going to school for four years, that kind of thing. Imagine if you went right to a newsroom and might be scared to death and not uh, go in there. <laughs> Sink or swim. There you go. But uh, that, that is, that's a great point. Now, the other uh, issue we mentioned right before the break, uh, Andy, is gay marriage, same-sex marriage in um, Montgomery County now has reached about 103 or 105, somewhere right. around there, right. which is a startling number that quick. The Inquirer actually has a box score every day. I wanted to ask you, either of you guys, any sense why it's more lesbians than guys? It's like 62, 65 uh, or heading out. Is it just the wedding thing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm, not sure. yeah, I'm trying to piece that out. I asked that and I haven't gotten any response. But they are coming from quite an array, quite a pretty good distance around there. You live in Montgomery County and border on Chester County. Uh, I, obviously, I work in Chester County, living in Montgomery County. Though I'm a, I'm a county resident. I was sort of shocked when, when mm -hmm. it all sort of came about and um, a little disturbed. I, I blog you know, mostly every day and I did blog about this pretty heavily and as a resident, I felt a little upset with uh, with the register of wills. Sort of, we were talking about this before we came on the air. About uh, seemed like a unilateral decision on his part. And right. As a county resident, I just want to know. Well, you know, Mike now going to fund this legal fight that could reach the Supreme well, Court. Well, that's exactly what's going to happen. Exactly. Now, Nick, I think the tenor of Philadelphia Mag. I read all the stuff each mm -hmm. day. Seems to be in favor of this. I wish it were not about same-sex marriage. To yeah. me, this is about a rule of law issue, mm -hmm. and it could be. Parking meters, same-sex marriage, right. it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And what I see going on here is pretty chaotic. Yeah. And I think these people are going to, the ACLU has been smart. Mm -hmm. The couples that are involved in this big lawsuit, they did not let them go and get married. They don't want to muddy the waters because right. they must sense they got a good shot at a win. Mm -hmm. And if that happens, that's the appropriate way to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think that uh, with Philadelphia Magazine, I think it's just very, in terms of kind of the national narrative, it, it's right. kind of a very satisfying thing to see. But yeah, I mean, I, I don't think that the uh, legislative cost that has been really calculated as far as that goes, yeah. Yeah, and to the ante, when you hear, when I bristle, when I hear side of history, you're on the wrong side of history here, if you say this is not the right thing to do and people are striking a blow here, and again, this is just... And, and well, as, as, again, as a resident, I feel, you know, I, I would have rather have seen um, a, a, a same-sex couple go for a license, be denied, right. file a lawsuit, take it to court, do it that way, as opposed to, again, making... Well, that's what's just, happening. Yeah, that's what's I happening mean, as we speak. I and just I don't think want it funded with my right, tax Right, no, and I think the ACLU, there's going to be a good shot with yeah. this. Nick, cover millennial issues. Mm -hmm. One I talk about on the radio, and it draws more calls, are millennials not driving. Mm. We see these big stories, almost every major newspaper has mm -hmm. had it out there. I don't know how you go to a date and say, I'll pick you up on Scepter or meet me at Scepter or whatever. You yeah, you do there. that. You, you just, just meet, meet there. Yeah. There's something. Yeah, no there's deal. something. Andy, you have, you have kids. You have any yeah, daughters? I have sure. sons. Those are guys I'm not sure better than not have a car, well, no? Yeah, I, I suppose. I, I'm, uh, but what, what's the main, <laughs> is it just costliness? Is it, and yeah. Here's a theory I have. You're a guy that's technical, too. Is mm. it spending all your money on the latest equipment of a technical sort yeah, versus I mean, a car. I, I think generally, generationally, uh, I mean, our generation's hot rods are computers and iPods and, and all that yeah. kind of thing. Do you so, have a car? Um, no, I actually sold mine when I moved into, uh, into Philadelphia just because there's no, it's not a city designed for cars. Oh my you God, know? it's not New York. <laughs> I've lived in Philadelphia all my life. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's not New York, come not. on. I, no, I just think that it's, uh, it's not, as, as more people my age to kind of move into cities, they're seeing that as not really a practical kind of way to But maybe downtown, maybe a few square block. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Either. No, I no, mean, I, I live in the city in, all my life. Yeah. Yeah, I think absolutely. if I lived in the city, I wouldn't necessarily want a car. Guys, you're talking like this is New York. Right, Come nah, on now, stop so it already. Hey, man, you, I've, tried, I've tried to park in South Philly. That's <laughs> no fun. 
Well, you got to learn how to park in the middle of Broad Street. I'll park in the middle of Broad Street. All right, there you go. go. That's where you go. Yeah, you used to park there and go into Nick's Roast Beef, and you had to come in with double parking and tell you whose car it was. I mean, I will say I was terrified to go to New York, and I've been there. Yeah, well, New York's different. New York, I've been there three or four times now. Getting getting through the city on public transportation is a to me is a dream. I mean, it's so much. Yeah, you just, you just swipe Very the ticket. Simple, yeah. Yeah, Guys are ganging on up on me. I thought we were ganging up on the millennials <laughs> here. Uh, around uh, so, uh, Nick, one other pressing issue. We talked with you about student loan debt, cars, et cetera. What's the pressing issue of millennials right now? It's got to be the economy and how that's shaping their life, right? Yeah, I, I think that that's, that's definitely a big one. I mean, uh, the job numbers um, for our age group are, are consistently mm -hmm. lower than the national average. and. You know, or uh, you know, worse than the national average, oh, yeah. that kind of yeah, thing. So it's, uh, you know, we're coming out of college every year with less and less jobs to go into. You know, so we're we're consistently worried about that. But I do think that one of the big thing that that does impact that is is the un unpaid internship thing that we're kind of all forced into when you're in your you know, your kind of college days, it's it's expected that you do work. I'm fine with the unpaid internship. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. Not, like tell that. me why. No, oh, I, just as somebody, have you ever worked on an unpaid internship? No? No, I have not. Oh, no, no. So, well, wait a minute. No, that's not true. I was a student teacher. I was a teacher teacher? Originally got into, that's an unpaid internship. Okay, okay. It was brutal, too. I was at South Philadelphia High School. I'll tell oh, you, it was not easy. Good. Yeah. But no, I, it's just, I think just as somebody who kind of has gone through that, I mean, I worked um, four unpaid internships, and then uh, right. before I got my, my, my final paid one, which was a dream compared to the other four but it's just something where you do go into work and you know that you're performing activities that maybe necessarily are, are meant for another member of the staff but they've right. been kind of pushed you off think to we've you, gone so too far with this andy do you see this that uh, corporate masters so to speak now are trying to i, mean, I think if, if, if get, companies get are this. taking advantage of people it's one thing right. but uh, i mean you know we have interns at our newspaper uh -oh, all the time. corporate masters How, however <laughs> i will point out though that you know since i've been there for in the eight years or more i've been there i've hired any number of interns right into full-time positions so mm. it's been you know, they get to know us, we get to know them, mm -hmm. and it's, been, it's just been a great situation. Yeah, We've no. had every one of them has just been a super but this is a wait, wait, This is a real millennial issue. It is. I've heard this yeah, with people yeah. your age calling in and all this stuff. They see it differently. Mm -hmm. Well, again, I think if companies, look, there are companies that take total advantage of the young people, and, and that, I mean, that's not the way we do it right. you know, at, at the Daily Local. We, we, we teach them, we see ourselves as teachers, mm -hmm. and we also see ourselves as giving these guys an opportunity. I mean, again, mm -hmm. we've hired probably six or seven people over the time I've been gotcha. there into full-time positions. All right, it's we're, been great. we're coming up with Andy and Nick here as we continue with our weekly roundup, interns paid, more coming straight ahead on Dom Time.